Welcome to my Greenfoot lesson at MrStewart'sLessons.com. We're going to create a new scenario here with the fish that chases a mouse and eats flies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new scenario. I'm going to call it fly fishing. And my scenario is ready to go. I want you to pause it and do the same thing create a new scenario and call it fly fishing and come back. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to create a new world. I'm going to select click world and I'm going to click new subclass. I'm going to give it the class name water because we're in the water here. And I'm going to choose image categories backgrounds and I'm going to choose the wet blue image. So I want you to pause it and create a new background called water with the wet blue image. Now I'm going to create a new actor. I'm going to click actor. I'm going to click new subclass. I'm going to call it this actor fish. I want you to choose, uh, I want you to, uh, so I'm going to type fish. I'm going to choose an animal. The animal is going to be a fish. I'll choose the green one, but you can choose whichever one you want. So I want you to pause it and create a new actor, which is a fish. Okay, now we're going to edit the fish's code window. I'm going to double click on here to get the fish's code window. Let me just adjust the window so we can all see what's going on here. So I'm going to delete at the comments here, add your action code. Okay, the first thing I need is a I need to know all the information about my mouse so I can follow it. And here's how you get information about your mouse in Greenpoint. I'm going to type mouse info and I'm going to call going to create a variable called pointer. So pointer is a kind of variable called mouse info which is just information about the mouse. I can get the information about the mouse from the Greenfoot class, so I'll type Greenfoot. Then I'll hit control space. And I want the one that says get mouse info. I'm going to use the method that says get mouse info. This gets, gets the information about the mouse. Now I need to make sure that my mouse actually is available when I get the mouse information. So the next thing I wanted, oh, so first of all, you should pause it and you should put this in, do mouse info pointer equals greenfoot dot gets mouse info. And you can you, you get the get this part from the control space. Okay, so now I'm gonna, what I need to do is make sure that my mouse info actually exists before I do anything with it. So I'm going to do an if statement, and I'm going to say pointer exclamation point equals, which means is not equal to null. And this makes sure that uh, my pointer actually is available so I can do something with it. Otherwise, I'm going to get an error. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to do an open parenthesis, hit enter twice, and do a close parenthesis. So I want you to put in if pointer does not equal null, and the open bracket and the close bracket, just as I did. So now inside the curly brackets, I'm going to I need I'm going to get the information about the mouse I need to follow it. So I'm going to get the mouse, I'm going to get the x and y coordinates of the mouse. So I'm going to create an integer variable. And the first integer variable is going to be called mouse x. It's going to be a number that's the x coordinate of the mouse equals, and I'll call it, and I'll say pointer, which is my variable. And then I'm going to hit period, and then I'll hit control space. And I want the one that says get x. And then below that, I'm going to get the y coordinate. So I'll create another integer variable called mouse y. And I'll do pointer, I'll do control space, and I'll use the get y command. And now I'm going to make the fish turn towards the x and y commands. So I'm going to hit control space, and I'll pick the variable turn towards, I mean, I'll pick the method turn towards, which is this one here. It wants an x and y coordinate. So the, the x and y coordinates I want are the mouse x. I can copy and paste it in here. 
and the mouse Y. And I'm going to put uh, semicolon after every method. So I want you to put that part in right now. Put the int mouse x equals pointer dot get x, int mouse y equals pointer dot get y, and turn towards and in there put mouse x and mouse y. Make sure you uh, your capitals match the capitals up here. Okay, so now uh, my fish should be pointing towards my mouse. So I'm going to click close. I'm going to click compile. We have no errors, so I have a fish here. I'm going to hit shift and click here. Now I want to make sure that I don't have to keep adding my fish, so I'm going to click, select click near the fish, not on it, and click save the world. And all that does, you'll notice here that there's a prepare method now in my world, which means my fish will be added at the start. I don't have to keep doing it again and again and again. So now I'm going to run it and watch my fish point towards the mouse. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to make my fish turn toward, I mean, move when I click the button. So I'm going to double click on the fish method again. Now I want to, uh, I want the, um, to know the button that's being pressed. Okay? So I'm going to create a new variable called int, and it's int uh, button. And it's going to again get it from the pointer. So I'll type pointer dot, and then I'll hit control space. And there's a method called get button. This gets the button that's being pressed. And if they're pressing the main mouse button, that's going to be button one. So I'm going to type if button equals equals double equals one. And then I'm going to do an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. Now inside those curly brackets, I'm going to type move and we'll make it move 10. We can move as fast or slow as we want and put in my uh, semicolon. So now I'm going to close it. I'm going to compile it and I'll run it and I'll see my fish moving towards the mouse. So now we have a fish that moves towards the mouse. In my next lesson here, I'm going to make the fish eat some flies. <laughs>